What's going on, friend? Welcome to Photography Talk episode 117. Now, in this week's episode of Photography Talk, we're going to take a look at two new massive lenses from Canon. Both, incidentally, have some pretty massive prices to match it. We've got a rumor report about Canon as well, which involves a possibility of an ultra-high-resolution camera that is being, or potentially being, developed. Now, also in the news, both Canon and Sony are claiming to be the best-selling camera and lens company, so who's right? Now, we'll chat about all of that in a minute, but first, friend, every single week we put this video together or these videos together to keep you informed as far as what's happening in the photography space and these small little news nuggets and if we are successful and you find some value with this video or hell you just want to do us a solid hitting that like button down below it really does help with the whole youtube algorithm that said my friend let's get on to this week's headlines now in case you missed it last week canon unveiled two new RF lenses, and these things are, they're stinking massive. Now, the first one is a 800 millimeter. This is a F 5.6L, uh, and the second one is a 1200 millimeter F 8L. Now, both lenses have very unique set of glass in the rear that serves as a 2X extender, and they both also have featured air spear coating and super spectra coatings. This is supposed to help with the, the flare and the ghosting in these things. Now, you'll also find two focus presets on each lens as well. Now, the presets allow you to instantly switch between two presets, then this is basically going to speed up the process of focusing on subjects that are different distances. Now, each lens features a customizable control ring that we absolutely love about these RF lenses, nine blade apertures, L-series optics, and the rugged build quality of an L-series featured or lens rather. Now these big boys come with a big price as well. Now the 800 millimeter lens is 16, it's basically 17,000. And while the 1200 millimeter is 20 grand. So if you want the down to the penny, it's or down to the dollar. It's $16,999 for the 800 millimeter and $19,999 for the 1200 millimeter. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to pick up a couple of these. <laughs> Neither of these lenses are available yet, but they plan to be available in May sometime. And of course, we're gonna keep you guys uh, tuned in with as they become available. So therefore, you can go out and buy a couple of these suckers as well. <laughs> now another can of news. Apparently, a ultra high resolution camera is forthcoming. Badass Canon. Now, rumors indicate that this camera will be in the neighborhood of about a 75 megapixel range. And I'm sure the goal is to really blow the doors off of the competition like they did back in the 5DS and the 5DSR when those came out. Now, those cameras had a 50 megapixel sensor, which was mind boggling back then. And now that figure, I wouldn't say it's not impressive, but it, it it doesn't stand out as much as it did back then. Now, there is a lot of speculation about what this camera might be perhaps an upgrade to the R5, just like the 5DS and the 5DSR were to the 5, or I'm sorry, the 5D Mark III back then. Now, whatever the camera will be called, it will certainly be a robust set of lenses, or it's going to have a set of robust lenses made available that can certainly take full advantage of such a high resolution sensor. Now, I've said it many, many times in the past episodes, these RF lenses are the best in the mirrorless market. Now, with a camera like this, we'll finally be able to see the full potential of these RF lenses. Now, of course, let's be real here. This is just a rumor, so there's no indication of when or if this camera might actually happen. Yeah, I think we can cross out if. So when this camera will actually happen. But anyways, as always, we're gonna keep you guys posted as more information comes available. Now, if you caught last week's Photography Talk episode 116, we discussed how Sony claimed the crown of being the best-selling mirrorless camera and lens brand in North America. Well, their claims were based on data from NPD Group in their own internal research. Well, now, Canon is using the same data from NPD Group to claim that they have the top spot in lens sales, full-frame sales, mirrorless camera sales, and they are the number one digital camera company in the United States. And I know you may be thinking, Alex, who's right? Well, they might both be right. Now, Sony claims to be the number one company in North America, while Canon claims to be the number one company in United States. So perhaps both Sony and Canon are top dog. It really depends on how much territory that you include. Now, either way, Sony and Canon are clearly the top two companies in these parts. Now, 
Notice how a Nikon isn't making any claims of being number one. Now the competition for being the best selling camera and lens company is only going to heat up. I mean, Canon and Sony make some of the best cameras and lenses on the market. And as we discussed a moment ago, there are more incredible cameras and lenses on the horizon. But taking a step back here, the good thing about competition is that we, the consumers, I mean, we are the beneficiaries of this. As uh, Canon and Sony duke it out, they're gonna be making better products that will help us maximize the quality of our photos and our videography and potentially make our jobs easier. Well, friend, that is this week's biggest headlines. Let's kind of shift gears and discuss our current giveaway. We have three awesome prizes up for the grabs. We have the F-Stop Lotus Bag, we have the Peak Design Duffel Bag, and of course, the $100 Adorama gift card. As always, entering the giveaway is really simple. Step one, like this video and subscribe to our channel. Step two, leave a comment below. In fact, the more of our videos that you watch and leave a comment on, the more chances that you have to win. So get watching some of our other videos and <laughs> leave some comments. Step three, register on Photography Talk and introduce yourself in the form. Now, if you registered on the site during one of the last giveaways, you're still eligible to win. But as I keep saying over and over again, swing and buy, post some photos. We would love to see it. And friend, that is it for complete details on the giveaway, including how to register on Photography Talk or how to say hello in the form. Check out the description below. Good luck. Oh, and one last thing before we go scooting off here. If you enjoy this sort of content, be sure to head over to Photography Talk, sign up for an account. It's free to do so and it gives you access to literally thousands of photography related articles on the site, including news articles on camera gear, photography tours, and much, much more. So take a moment, sign up for a free account and get access to material that will certainly help you take your best shot. And one last thought about when you sign up on Photography Talk, if you do decide up for one of our, our premium courses or our subscription, uh, last week or might've been the week before we announced our be awesome coupon code that is worth 35% off everything on Photography Talk. And that is it, friend. Now, it's that time of the video where I'm gonna ask you to do all that YouTube stuff that is oh so valuable to the channel. So if you found some value with this video, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. If you're currently not subscribed to the channel, friend, what are you waiting for? We have videos like this going on all day long. Not all day long, we have it every week, sometimes multiple videos per week, and we love the heavy part of the family. And last but not least, smash, kick that bell, so therefore you're notified every single time that we come out with a new video. Now, I can officially shut off the cameras and get out of my studio, so friend, I'm gonna do that so you get out there, stay healthy, and take your best shot.